Hello, this is Kevin from 3gstore.com, and today we're going to take a look at the PepLink Balance 30 router paired with the UML 295 from Verizon. The UML 295 is Verizon's latest 4G LTE capable device. We're going to look at a feature on the Balance 30 called Failover, which is when your primary internet connection goes down, the router switches over seamlessly to a backup, in this case the mobile broadband on the UML 295. In the background, you'll notice WAN1 is our primary internet connection. It has an IP address and is currently connected. That's the black cable you see going into the router on the bottom right hand of your screen. Mobile internet is currently not connection as our device is not plugged into the router. If you don't have mobile internet on your router, go up into network, click mobile internet, and make sure it is enabled. Once that's enabled, you can go back to the dashboard and you're ready to go. We're going to go over to the router and plug in the UML 295 and see exactly what the router does. So now our UML 295 is plugged into the router and we just have to wait for the router to go ahead and recognize the device and make an active connection to the network. And now the UML 295 has been recognized by the router. It's going to go ahead and connect to the mobile network grab an IP address, and assign to the device a status. This should only take a few seconds, and once it's plugged in, you're ready to go. There we go. Now the mobile internet has an IP address assigned to it, and the router assigned it a status of standby. And what standby means is the primary internet connection is working, and this is ready to fail over to the 295 in case the primary goes down. To simulate this, we're going to go over to the router and unplug the Ethernet cable and see exactly how the router handles this. So now our primary Internet has been disconnected. You'll see it switched over to red, no cable detected. Same thing would happen if the Internet connectivity actually went out. And on the bottom, it has our UML 295 with the status of connected. So that means we've seamlessly switched over our internet connection without any type of interruptions. To show that it's connected, we're going to go over to speed test and run a quick test on the 295. We're going to have it pick a server for us. The latency came back at 48 milliseconds. So pretty fantastic. Considering we're on Verizon's LTE network, not too surprising, very quick. Download speeds are just over 20 megabits per second, so no problems there. And upload speeds are approaching 10 megabits per second down. So what we've just proved here is even with our primary internet down, our network has still had connectivity throughout the whole time. The other thing I'm going to show you is the router's other feature called fail back. You don't want to have your mobile internet connected at all times because most devices do have a cap, either a 5, 10, or 20 gig a month cap, and going over that can be very expensive. So to simulate failback, we're going to go to the router and plug our Ethernet cable back in. So now our primary internet is back and connected. On the top right, you'll see that it is connected with an IP address. And the mobile internet is back in standby just in case anything happens again. For more information, be sure to check out 3gstore.com and subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more videos like this. Thank you.